Chosen few, protectors of our world. This is your time. Out there, you will fight the unimaginable. Feel the power of your javelin. It's precision. Rely on each other. Unleash your power. Never give up. Ready, Javelin One? Let's go! You are freelancers. Welcome back to Rated J Games, guys. Jay here, as always. And today with me is Shion, KH352. Hello. And Libby. I don't really know her numbers, so... <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm not going to say them. <laughs> but today we, we're going to talk about a little game that just came out on the 22nd called Anthem. And it's, uh... It was put out there by the people who made Mass Effect and the big evil corporation called Electronic Arts, or EA. And the reason we're doing this video is because we've actually had a really good time playing this game. And all we see about this game is nothing but hate. And I don't understand why truthfully because other games that have been like Anthem have done the exact same thing Anthem is doing right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean and we're just going to chime in for a little bit on that and you know pretty much give our point of view on you know the game and what we like about it or dislikes about it and all that nifty stuff. By the way, yeah. you know we are in no way professionals at this. This is just three different gamers giving their opinion on a game that we enjoy. Right. So, a lot... And everyone, Everyone's uh, entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> everybody is, but when you have a collective, a big collective of people jumping on that hate bandwagon, mm -hmm. it, it's, it gets kind of sickening after a while. Yeah. And a lot of what they bring up, like, none of the reviewers have their own things to say about the game. It they, it seems like they're all reading on a spreadsheet at what they should hate about Anthem. Mm-hmm. It really does sound like they're everyone's saying the exact same thing. The exact over same thing. And over. Every review is the same. Yeah. And it's it's rather annoying. Over here on Metacritic, um, the game has gotten a mixed or average review score of 61 and a user score of 4.1. And that's rather low for a game of like, this caliber. Yeah. And, you know, I don't really, really give a damn about the uh, critic reviews. Because I like to play games myself to see if I like them or not. And that has bitten me in the ass before. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, at that point, it's a 50-50 shot, you know. Yeah. But a lot of these reviewers are saying, going on saying how Anthem doesn't have much of an end game. Or mm -hmm. the, um, the facial expressions people make aren't lifelike. <laughs> all the all the NPCs, oh, 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 you know, all the NPCs okay, okay. look like mannequins. Okay. Owen, Owen looks pretty good. Like I like how his character looks. He has a lot of different facial expressions. And yeah. They're usually funny. Yeah, Yarg is it Yarg? Uh, I think the so. Russian the Russian accent one. Yeah. He he's he's funny as fuck. Yeah. 
they're saying that Anthem's story is lackluster. Um, but just, Anthem's not even done. No, it, it it's really not right. done. And that that is why I think these people are giving their impressions the way they are. Because mm -hmm. they're expecting a game that's a service. This is a service game. We are in the realm of games as a service now. Right. And what that is, is basically they release a game, they continue to add things to the game, whether mm -hmm. in free updates or expansions or there's going to be some type of events going on within a month right. or it's so. Right, it's an online game. Yeah. Like, you yeah. want something that's, like, completely done, then... They want to play a game, is what they want. They want a game... That is single player, that has a full story, that you right. can play through, that is complete. Nowadays, games aren't like that anymore. No, right. they're not. You get part of it because it's easier for them to complete part of it and get most of it without like really bad glitches, yeah. like you teleporting half across the map or right. disappearing through the map. Or They're trying to do that so then they could release every other bit of it piece by piece. Yeah. Yeah. It and, kind of closes the gap of how many glitches they have to fix overall. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I see. Well, that, yeah, that's your opinion. Yeah. My, like, um, I could agree to disagree on that. Like, don't don't get me wrong. I want a full game too. Okay, that is yeah. why I play a lot of single player games. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what I'm gonna get if I play The Last of Us or God of War or Spider Man. Right. You know. Right. I know what I'm getting here. I opted yeah. in I opted in to playing Anthem because of the promises that they've made about the stuff that's going to be coming out in their roadmap and the chance to team up with a couple of friends and be badasses. That is why I bought Anthem. Yeah. Like I do have interest in Anthem Anthem's story, but I know it's not going to be the most robust story because it's a multiplayer game. It's a right. looter shooter squad game. Yeah. And I mean, so far so good, though. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, I'm not going to knock it. I do have my gripes about the game. I really do. Mm -hmm. The loading screens. The loading <laughs> screens are horrible, and that is another thing that they say. But I don't think they're as bad as everybody's bitching about. I, I do want to point one thing, though. And I know, yes, the loading screens are fucking terrible. Fucking going between your javelin to the next part, to then back, to mm -hmm. that loading screen irritating us. But yeah, it is. But Monster Hunter used to have that. Monster yeah. Hunter used to have a loading screen every time you entered a freaking little cave. Mm -hmm. Just to go up through the other side of the cave to another loading screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Monster people Hunter. Used, people it's... used to bitch for the new Monster Hunter that didn't have that. Because that's how you got away from the monster before it killed you. Yeah. yeah. The loading screen. Now that it doesn't have that loading screen, you could still get your ass ripped. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. So, this is basically like an old Monster Hunter. You're going to have fucking loading screens every time you enter... A fucking little cave or something. No, mm -hmm. uh, see, that that's just might be the old school gamer in me. But the the loading screens don't bother me because in every goddamn <clears throat> door I had to go through in Resident Evil on the PlayStation One <laughs> was a damn loading screen. Yeah. Okay. It didn't bother me then, it doesn't bother me now, because the loading screens aren't that bad. They don't, yeah, they might take a half a minute or a minute or whatever, but they're mm -hmm. not bad. Why? Because we're usually in a squad, on mic, bullshitting with each other, so it makes the time go by. Yeah. And I, I do, I will say this, I recommend you finding a couple of good friends and playing this game with them, because it makes it more worthwhile. This is... They say you can play through single player because, you know, they'll hook you up with three random people. But the randoms all suck because the randoms want to do what they want to do. Play right. with your friends. Play Anthem with your friends and you will have, I guarantee, a 100% better time playing this game. And you will not even notice the loading screens because mm -hmm. you're going to be there talking to your friends about all the cool stuff that you've done. Right. 
not only that, if you, if you have your friends, you you know really talk to each other on doing the amazing combos. You know,、mm -hmm. you could go through a, a stronghold easily, quickly as fuck, like we did the other night. Yeah, we did it twice. Throwing everyone's combo, fucking perfectly timed, for it, the, the monster not even to move.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, though the titans are still a pain in the ass and complete bullshit. But I mean, well, see, the, another gripe <laughs> that they keep doing is during when you first load up the game, you only have one stronghold. Until the end game, and one of the strongholds is more or less a repeat of the last battle of the game, which is fine, in my opinion, because they're going to be adding more strongholds, more events, more stuff like that as time goes on.、Mm -hmm. I mean, this month is almost over. March is coming, and we we have a so much going on in March. I, I'm、yeah. guessing these people haven't seen the road, the road map, map yet. Yeah. And they don't know what's coming. They, they've they've seen the roadmap, and they don't. They want everything in the roadmap now. They are、yeah. impatient pricks. <laughs> and the same thing as Destiny. Um, you have events that happen every so often. If you miss、mm -hmm. it, then you have to wait a few months for the next one to show up.、Mm -hmm. It's a repeat of the same thing, but、yeah. you get good glued out of it. Right. That's an that's another thing that they're、um, griping about too is the loot. Not so much getting the loot because it's easy to get the loot in this game,、mm -hmm. but and I, I do have to agree with them on this one. All the guns in the certain classes they all look the same.、Yeah. All the guns are the same. Yeah. You know, there's nothing different. Um, but what I think, what I think they did. Was put most of those that cosmetic work into the javelins because、yeah. you're not really gonna look at your damn gun when you're shooting it, right? You're, That's you're, true. You're looking at the javelins. You know what I mean?、Mm -hmm. But but I do I do wish there was a little more variety between you know assault rifles yeah, like, and whatnot. I honestly、Pins、don't or... really care as long as they do. What they're supposed to do and do good. <laughs> exactly. And we're starting to get right now. We're starting to get blue and purple stuff in our in our playthrough. <laughs> and it's cool because you know we're we're strengthening our freaking javelin with everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm fine with that, but I do hope as time goes on, we do get different variants of、um, different weapons. Yeah, and whatnot. I think, I think there's one one of the updates that are happening the next few months is new loot. Well, yeah, like, they said there's going to be、uh, new items, new loot, new, new stuff, and whatnot.、Mm -hmm. Um, talk talking about items and loot and whatnot. Um, I heard a couple of um a couple of reviewers say that you know they want stuff from the stores and whatnot drop from the boxes you get after these events. What? I could understand that. I could understand where they're coming from. Like, say, say we just、uh, took a stronghold out, <clears throat> and we get a box at the end of it, or whatever. We get all the loot from the boss monster that we fought. Yeah. I do believe that they should drop maybe an epic、yeah. or rare,、um, yeah, yeah, like as, skin as, for like skin. Yeah, skin for your so, javelin or or whatnot, you know. Yeah, I can I can understand that. If there was like a five percent chance that you would get like an epic or something like that. Oh, yeah.、Okay. So you would have to like try to do the stronghold like ten、mm -hmm. times, twenty times, so you could yeah, probably、yeah. get that.、Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. Understand okay, that, you got me there. I don't I don't think that I don't think it should be exactly what's in the store. Yeah. I think it should just be other stuff. Even if it's not like a skin or armor set for your javelin, it's just one of the vinyls too. You know, drop a couple of vinyls. I wouldn't even care if it was just a coat of paint, like. <laughs> yeah, like something that that costs real money or、yeah. fucking ten hours of grind. Just you know, yeah, I can understand、mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you know, make it make it worthwhile to keep going back into these strongholds because you're gonna do it. 
If you if you group up with three other people, you got to do that same stronghold like four times. Oh yeah. You know, give a give us a percentage to get something really cool. You know, like a vinyl or maybe even maybe even um uh a skin for our javelin's legs or arms or chest or whatever. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. I think they I think they should do that. But as far as what we got now, I'm okay with the game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, you know, I I did not think I was going to like this game because I'm not. A Destiny-ish kind of. Well, I wouldn't. Player. I wouldn't say Destiny. I don't. You're not really into like looter shooters. It's like Borderlands yeah. or Destiny. And whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm actually having quite a bit of fun with this game, and I really, I thought I was going to suck. I it was like, because so, when you said, "Oh, you got to depend on your team," like, eh. Are you sure you want me on your team? <laughs> you have. You haven't been doing bad. You know, I know. Been, you know the tiny the tiny eyes hasn't affected you. <laughs> yeah, I mean when when we did that one round, you didn't really you didn't go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, hey, <laughs> just saying. But, but yeah, good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> a lot a lot of people are just bitching about this game, and I don't understand why. If we were okay with Destiny doing it, right. Or other games like it in the past. I feel like people maybe expected something else. I I could understand I could understand people expecting higher quality work mm -hmm. from Bioware because of the games that they've put out. Bioware yeah. Bioware has put out Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and um, Knights of the Old Republic. Mm -hmm. Three high tier AAA games, you know, franchises. Yeah. They all went in. What I think they all went in thinking this was going to be exactly like those games, those legacy right. games that BioWare has put out. And I don't I never thought like that. Yeah. Okay. I I always looked at Anthem as EA's answer to Destiny. <laughs> and that is that was what I expected and that is exactly what we got. Yeah, it's, it's, you're not wrong. But we could fly. And, like, graphically, the game is gorgeous. The oh, sound yeah. the sound is good, except for there is a sa a bug with the sound that sometimes shuts the music off, and that's a door barking in my recording! <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, you know, stuff like that. And we're gonna get bugs. And people are bitching about the bugs. Uh, Why? Every game, single-player games get bugs now. Yeah. It's why we have patches. Right. People are like, oh, because uh, when it, you know, it came out and people were already playing it, like, and then, and, like, days later, it got a patch. They're like, oh, it's not a one-day patch, it's a seven-day patch. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> They're, they're fixing the issues, right? Right. Yeah. Now, why are you complaining? Oh, because it takes longer for me to have to download. Well, it's, it's the same thing as every other game. There's always going to be times where you're going to have to wait an hour or two for your shit to download. Right. Mm -hmm. As long but, as it solves the issue from before, why are you complaining? Yeah. But individually... It's not like ARC. Yeah. Right. Uh... <laughs> it's not like Ark. It's not that they fix something and ten other things break. They're actually <laughs> fixing it. Yeah, but which let's go individually here. We'll start with you, Shion. What is your likes and dislikes so far? Um, I you know, I don't know what I don't like about it, <laughs> and that's really weird for me because I don't normally like these kinds of games. <laughs> we got our hooked, baby. <laughs> yeah! Like, Fuck I'm yes. playing it right now as we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how are you communicating with the other people? <laughs> I'm just kind of helping them as I go. Who <laughs> said, screw the other people, the podcast is more important. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, well, what is, like, but a thing or I... two that you really like? Uh, hmm. 
I really like the different types of javelins. I like how the storm is. Like, I I started out with the, what was it, the ranger one? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Started out with that one, and I was like, ugh, I don't know how the hell to control this. But literally within, I don't even want to say an hour, maybe 20 minutes, I figured out how to control it. Yeah. And like, and now I'm, and now I'm, I, I'm like level, I don't know, how to, when do you, when do you, uh, when do you unlock this one? I'm like level eight. I unlocked that one, and now I'm playing that one, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> nice. Well, what about you, hun? Um, eh, the, the loading screen does kind of bug me, just because, like, mid-loading screen, the music will stop, and you're mm-hmm. having, like, a mid-panic of, did I just disconnect it or blue screen? <laughs> <laughs> or is it just needs, like, a kick on the side for it to, like, restart? <laughs> but other than that, I know it's totally fixed. Um, I do like, like Shion said, the javelins are freaking awesome. Just for the fact that each javelin fits someone's play style. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, if you're up close and personal type person, the interceptor is great for you. If you're more back sniping, mm-hmm. you know... Ranger and Storm kind of fits that, you know, perspective. Yeah. And if you're, like, more support style, where you're up in there taking the hits for someone to get up, you know, Ranger and Colossus fit. And I absolutely yeah. love that. Mm-hmm. You know, the combos that you could do with all your friends, you could light up the whole freaking place <laughs> and freaking fireworks everywhere, and instantly, boom, they're dead. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just fun. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. With me, I mean, the loading screens don't bother me. Uh, I do wish, you know, there were different types of gun variants and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I do think they will fix that. I think we'll start seeing those special weapons like we've seen in the uh, trailer where one of the one of the you know, quote unquote, real players. You know, killed a boss and picked up this special gun in it. You know, it looked really cool. <laughs> I-, I think we'll end up getting that at some point. Real players. <clears throat> yeah. Um, my gripes about it, honestly. That that's it. I don't. I don't. I don't dislike the game. I love the game. I'm. I mean, yeah. it's it's really been the only game I've played unless I had to record something. And I'm happy with it. I can't wait to see what they do with it in the future because like the 90-day the or 3-month uh, roadmap that they already put out looks great. And we already know we're going to get new missions, new new weapons, new store stuff, new um new strongholds. And all of that. So, and that's just the first 90 days. <clears throat> and they're talking about making this game last as long as Destiny did. Oh, wow. So, I I think it's going to be awesome. But, I mean, I can understand if every <clears throat> all these reviewers didn't look like they were reading off of a spreadsheet of, you know, hate. <laughs> and actually really gave their legitimate um legitimate feelings on the game i could understand it but a lot of t- in in my opinion all the reviews seem co- all cookie cutter all the same yeah it's because big bad ea put this game out so we have to hate it right okay well, it could yeah. be that it could be like there is that slight you know rumor where some half these people that give you know, all these reviews are getting paid to give a bad review. I mean, it could I mean, it could I, be that. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I watched I watched a fifty minute Angry Joe review on this game, and it was literally him just repeating himself over and over, screaming into the mic what? about how they fucked up the game or how they did this. He did give points on how what he liked about the game, the flight, the graphics the battles and everything you know mm. 
all of it's that. Like, he liked that, but it just <laughs> just everything else he hates. Everything else he hates. They did everything else wrong. But he really never took into consideration that there's so much more coming to the game. Mm -hmm. He he wants it now, 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 now. Right. When we knew going into it, when we knew we knew when we were handing our money over for Anthem, that isn't how it was going to be done. Mm -hmm. And I think they need to all look back and see what games did this, because Destiny Two did this, Destiny One did this, mm -hmm. and months in, they just got better. I mean, I I. Not that long ago, I finally jumped into Destiny 2, and I was having a really good time with it. Hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. I like the game. I love the game, and I'm going to continue playing it. You know, oh, there, yeah. Me too. I, I, I could tell you right now, there's going to be times where I put the game down until new stuff comes out. But until then, I'm going to enjoy what I do. And when that new stuff comes out, I'm going to go back to it and I'm going to enjoy all that new stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything else we could do. So, I don't I mean, know. I'm looking forward to the guild because I'm pretty yeah. sure they're going to do... If they're anything, I'm pretty sure they're going to do it. No, it's not anything. I'm pretty sure, positive, they're going to do the same thing as Destiny. Once you have mm -hmm. the, guild, the guild, you know, yeah. you do a certain amount of things to upgrade your gill and if you upgrade your gill then you get even better loot out of it right. as a whole group but you know you're still gonna have to grind to contribute mm -hmm. to the gill for it to level up mm -hmm. yeah as you go up in levels it gets harder and harder you have to do harder stuff you have to do it on expert or something like that yeah. to then get the points one i see that happening it's not a bad thing either, because no. it does get interesting. Yeah. One thing... I think one of the things that kind of... Um, kind of annoyed me a tiny bit was mm -hmm. the like the free play stuff where you're gonna like kill a certain amount of any enemies with your alts and stuff like that. Like, But like, I get why it's there, you know? But... At the time, I didn't really know kind of what I was doing or where I was going, so I got a little confused, and, you know, when I get confused, I get annoyed. <laughs> I I understand what you're talking about. I realized in town, the daily, weekly, monthly is completely different than what you have as challenges for daily, yeah. mo weekly, and monthly. I thought it was the whole same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until Fuzzy pointed it out. And I had to go and click within that to then click within the other one to then see that they're all different. Oh, no. okay. The, one, one thing I'm excited to see how they implement, and I don't say this a lot, but because of the way the, the javelins control and mm -hmm. everything is how are they going to implement PvP? Oh, jeez. Ooh. Right. Um, a fan not too long ago asked, when they had a Q&A, mm -hmm. asked if there was going to be a PvP. And Mark Dara, I think that's his last name, mm -hmm. went ahead and said no PvP at launch. Now that, no, doesn't, that, that doesn't one, like, that doesn't one that doesn't one hundred percent say there's going to be PvP, mm -hmm. but, but by it him doesn't saying say it won't be yeah by him saying yeah. not at launch yeah is probably a very good chance that we will get PvP at some point. How would we do it? What's the loot system going to be like there? Are we going to get gold? Are we going to get new armor sets, new vinyls, new weapons? What are we going to get from PvP? Not going to lie, I'm kind of interested to see how PvP goes. <laughs> right? Because if you really think about it, how each one of the, the javelins work, mm -hmm. they do have a weakness against one of the other javelins. Right. So mm -hmm. if you were to put javelins together, like against each other, shit, you would, they would 
you would always have to watch out for your back. <laughs> Cause storm could get you from above. Cause ranger could take out a storm easily, mm-hmm. but since rangers have to sit put to take down the storm, an interceptor could come in and fuck them up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what? yeah, that that'd be really interesting. The Colossus, the Colossus could rip through a storm. But the Interceptor is a lot faster than a Colossus and could do what a Colossus more or less can without as much um, armor. But yeah. here's the difference. The Colossus does not have a shield. It has right. a physical shield, but it does not have the shield that you guys have. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It just has its health pool. Yeah. So... <clears throat> With the uh, Interceptor, the Interceptor could run circles around a Colossus, but the Storm is no match for a Colossus. Mm-hmm. At all. But, either way, are we gonna do, are we gonna have 1v1? Are we gonna have squad versus squad? How is- I'm pretty is sure it will probably be a squad meet squad. Probably. I think that would be awesome. And, I run Colossus, so I'm going after the Storms first. <laughs> <laughs> As long as I have an air ranger or an interceptor watching my back. <laughs> That's true, because ranger does pop that, that bubble. Yep. Um. But, I mean, all in all, how, how are you guys enjoying Atham? I absolutely I am yeah. surprisingly enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, same here. I, I love the game, and... Like I said earlier, I can't wait to see what they add to it as time goes on. But I, I think I'm going to end this here because I don't want to just sit here and bitch and moan and praise. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, no, this has been good. Mm-hmm. It's just, honestly, this was made because I, there's just so much hate for this game and it's, For no reason. <laughs> no, there is a reason. It's because of EA. Everybody yeah. has to hate on EA. Mm-hmm. I understand EA's practices haven't been the best, but e, you have to you have to realize EA has produced some of the greatest games we have. Mm-hmm. And just because their corporate part of it sucks ass, it doesn't mean every game that comes out with the EA title is going to suck. Right. And I think if everybody goes ahead and gives Anthem some time, you will be pleasantly surprised with what Bioware is going to offer us. Yeah. But with that said, if you've made it this far, hopefully you liked the damn video. If not, put your hate <laughs> mail down in the comments. Like, <laughs> dislike, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Shion, say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs>